this is how our route planner is looking we'll get to our destination at around 307 the estimated time of arrival the first stop will be at Bothell Washington we'll reach there with 15% of battery we'll stop there for 30 minutes and we'll get there by around 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Uh, second stop will be Ellensburg at 12 p.m. and Ridgeville at around 2 p.m. We'll charge there for 15 to 20 minutes on each stop. We'll also be stopping at Seattle for some rest. We are stopping here at Linwood Seattle Supercharger. We'll be stopping here for 20 minutes. This is our first supercharger of our trip today. This supercharger is located on a gas station property and there is a Fred Meyer shopping center. We have 14 more minutes to go to continue the trip. We are now on Interstate 90 towards Spokane. We have stopped here for this beautiful view near Georgetown of Washington State. The bridge that you see in the background is a vintage bridge. The lake is Wanapam Lake, which is part of the Columbia River.
So we have stopped here for our second supercharger at Sprague, Washington. And we will be here for 15 minutes. We are one hour away from our destination where we will be staying tonight at Spokane. It's very hot outside. It's almost 40, 42 degrees Celsius right now. We'll be staying at an Airbnb. What are you guys doing? We're eating. We're eating. I'm eating some yummy gummy. Mm -hmm. We are in Spokane, Washington right now. We'll be staying here overnight at our Airbnb and tomorrow in the morning we'll resume our journey towards Yellowstone. Hello and good morning from Spokane, Washington. It's 6 in the morning and we are continuing our journey towards West Yellowstone. After 30 minutes, we'll be reaching Cordial Inn for our first supercharger this morning, where we also finish our breakfast and we'll continue our journey towards West Yellowstone. Idaho border is after 15 minutes or so. The weather is very pleasant. The temperature is like in mid 20s and probably it rained overnight, so it seems Pretty beautiful right now. Hello Montana. So we are here at the state of Big Sky, Montana, 30 minutes before Missoula. Missoula, we will be stopping for another supercharger. This is a very beautiful rest stop with lots of picnic tables, clean washrooms, and very beautiful place to meet people who are also taking road trips across the United States. So we are done our supercharging at Mizola and now we are leaving for Butte, Montana. That will be our next stop. Star Sprangled Banner welcomes you to the big sky country. Tall structure in the background is called Anaconda Monument. It's a 585 feet tall freestanding brick structure, now part of Montana State Parks. A visit to Montana is a visit to the true American West, where vast skies, fresh crisp air and crystal clear water welcome you. There is no shortage of nature in this purest form. The abundance of natural resources creates an extremely fertile environment for Montana's largest industry, agriculture.
Montana produces a wide range of commodities. Wheat and beef top the Montana's list. However, you also find sweet cherries, sugar beets, seed potatoes and hay to name a few. Montana is a national leader in the production of certified wheat organic, dry peas, lentils and flax and ranks number two in the US for its honey and pollination industry. The Bozeman Trail was a shortcut to the newly discovered gold fields of Montana Territory. In 1863, right after the Civil War, John Bozeman and John Jacobs scouted for a direct route from Virginia City, Montana to central Wyoming. It was a shortcut from Oregon Trail to Virginia City. The plan was to guide potential gold prospectors to the promised land and that the cost of healthy fee. We are 10 minutes away from our destination, West Yellowstone. Here we are at the West Yellowstone town. It is right outside the Yellowstone National Park. If we take left from here, we'll go to the park. But before that, we have to charge the car to the full. So we are heading to the supercharger we also have to do some shopping before we enter into the park now to tell you the the town itself is in Montana but the park is in Wyoming so on our way to the park which is only 15 minutes away from here we'll also be crossing the state border